Okay, welcome to part two of how we put scans together in AVA. So we're set up the same as we were before. We've got our second piece on here now um, on top of our original and we've still got our selection open. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is if there's a tiny bit of misalignment. Okay, so as before, you can see here, this is a really good um, match just because we were very careful when we put our pins in before. But if there is a slight mismatch, um, you can just nudge that second piece slightly. So if I click on one of my selection tools um, and just make sure that it's on that left hand selection mode, you can just nudge your selection. So you see there when I'm using my keyboard up and down keys, it's moving that file up and down, just like that. Okay, so if you had it slightly mismatched, you could just nudge it up. Okay. And then let's put another piece on. So let's do number three. So just a recap of how we would do it. We're just going to be looking for that pin. And we're going to find somewhere that matches in our number three piece. So grab our pin tool. And let's use this purple flower in here. Okay. So we're just going to move that pin down here. And in this second piece, we're going to go to Edit, Select All, Edit, Copy, and then we'll paste it in our number one scan that you can see here. Okay, so one of my favorite tricks when you're pinning scans in. So sometimes what you'll get is like a little shadow effect from the printer. Um, Cause you know, sometimes when you're scanning in, you get, you get the shadow where the, the light's moving across on the scanner. So one brilliant way of getting rid of that is if you use your lasso tool and hold down the command key, you can see you get that little minus icon. Okay, and what you can do is while you still got your selection on there, Clicking on my command key on the keyboard is you can take away areas from the top. Okay, so anywhere where you think might be misaligned or if you think there's a tiny problem with the scan, you can just remove any of that overlapping area like that. And a really cool thing that you can do is if you go around the contours of these little objects, you'll see that actually it's a really nice way if you've got any sort of, if you're scanning material, for example, sometimes it can be difficult to keep it straight. Um, so it can just compensate for that skew um, when you scan material. So I just like to go around some of the contours of the little bits in the design. And again, this is why the overlap is really useful. Okay. And then let's Finally, let's put number four on there. So same thing, let's just put our pin in. So do select all, copy, and do paste. And then the last thing I want to show you is that you can actually also freehand rotate. Okay, so if you decide that one end is nice, so you want to keep this here, you can actually use your rotate tool and just rotate slightly. And sometimes this is also really good if you've got fabric that you've scanned in because it just means that you can compensate for any of that skew in the fabric. Okay, and then when you're happy, Deselect and that is your file. Okay, thank you.